Hello everyone, in this video we build a very simple game of, of two dice. Let me show first how it works. Okay, let's check. The value low refers to the level of strength we want to use to throw the dice. So, uh, first is our turn. So the dice roll 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times and they stopped. Dice 1 with value 1 and dice 2 with value 6. Then it's the turn of R. And as you can see, the dice of R uh, rolled more times. This means that R decided to use much more strength to throw the dice. The value stops at uh, dice 1, 3, dice 2, 3. So as you can see, the sum of the values of R is 6. The sum of our two dice is uh, 7, so we are the winner. So let's see how we can write this function. The function takes only one argument, strength. The strength we want to use to throw the dice. So we can choose one among low, medium and high. At the beginning the function generates a dice as a sequence from 1 to 6. Y underscore strength uh, the value of strength, the value that we will input uh, in the function. R underscore strength, we make R to choose how strong wants to throw the dice. By using the sample function, we pick up one element from this sequence that stores low, medium, and the high. I associate the value low with a sequence from 4 to 6. Uh, the value medium with a sequence from 7 to 9 and the value high with a sequence from 10 to 12. This is just to simulate the fact that when we throw the dice, for example, low, it can be very low or can be a little bit stronger. And the same when we use uh, a lot of strength, it can be very, very strong or a little bit uh, less strong. And for this, we use the if else function. So if y underscore strength so our strength is low one element from the sequence from 4 to 6 is else if the strength is medium one element from the sequence from 7 uh, to 9 is chosen else this means that the level is high one element from the sequence uh, from the sequence from 10 to 12 is chosen So this y underscore s will store uh, one, uh, one number that corresponds to the strength level. And this is the same is done for, for r, r underscore strength. As you can see, it follows the same pattern. Then we roll the dice. First is our third. As you can see, we use the, uh, the while function to simulate uh, the roll of the dice. If you are not familiar with the while function, you may refer to the video in the description where I compare the for loop with the while loop. Now, uh, y underscore d, as you can see, we simulate the, the roll of the dice. So with the sample function, we pick one element from dice and dice is the sequence from one to six. We associate this to dice one. So we do the same for dice two. When the while loop is done, starts the the turn of R, and as you can see, this is structured in the same way. After the while loop stops, the, we sum the value uh, of YD, so our result, our score, and we sum the, the score of uh, R. At, at the end, we declare the winner. If Y sum, so our score is greater than the score of R, we are the winner. Else, if our score is less than the score of R, we lose. Else, this means that it's a draw, so uh, we print draw. So let me run this function again. Let's test it. With the medium. So as you can see, the, 
the dice roll more times than before. Our score is 7. Our score is a 5, so we are the winner. Let's test with I. And again, we are the winner. Our score is 10, our score is 7. So this is how it works. The next video we will build another game, we will build the game Battleship. If you like this kind of videos, see you in the next one.